after a while you will run out of ideas you're going to be like oh what what else can I create what else can I create right and this uh what I'm going to about to teach you right now is a process that really hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about how can you never run out of content ideas for your posts now there's lots of different ways to do that but I have a, a way that I think is a little unique at least kind of backwards to what leaders are teaching you so we're going to get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, you can come up with content ideas and never run out of content ideas as you as long as you follow the process that I'm about to explain to you. And it's not any more complicated than what you're maybe used to but it certainly is a little bit different you're going to see it's a little bit backwards so before we get into that I want to remind you though if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis497.jsgagnon.com because as always I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be you'll be able to you know see my expression and everything else it's a lot better than just the audio but still the audio will give you good anyways let's get right to it let's just share my screen right here and let's just look at what we are normally doing here on Facebook so right so you know the idea what leaders tell you to do right they tell you to go and create content that relates to your audience that relates to your to your target market that relates to your offer what you're trying to sell so you got to create content on Facebook that your audience is going to notice and they're going to want to engage with right <clears throat> but the thing is that after a while you will run out of ideas you're going to be like oh what what else can I create what else can I create right and this uh what I'm going to about to teach you right now is a process that really I've been using for I don't know for years now and it really really helps to never run out of ideas right so what's the difference well uh well let's let's get a little note notebook out here and just come right back so let's start with what the leaders tell you to do right now what is it that leaders are teaching right now to create content right so the first thing they'll tell you is you need to you need you know and this is something I I say in almost all my videos because it's so important right you need to know your avatar and number two you need to know your offer all right you need to know those things and when I talk about your uh, avatar and your offer I'm not talking about like your offer is not what you're selling right your your offer is not what you're selling your offer is what it gives people so you know if you're selling weight loss products it's not about the product the ingredients you know what it looks like what the picture of it is and it's about what it gives people why would they want to buy your product what is it that you're offering them if they get your product right your offer is I'm gonna lose weight I'm gonna look better I'm gonna sleep better I'm gonna you know attract people more I'm gonna be more attractive physically right all that stuff that's what you're selling that's your offer right and your avatar is your person your ideal customer right your perfect prospect you're the best person that you would love to work with who is that you know their 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 eye color their hair color where they live what kind of income they have whether they have kids or not so define them right do, what do they like what don't they like what scares them what keeps you know what keeps them up at night what's what do they worry about all those things have to be defined before you can you know create any content right then the third thing they tell you is you need to you need to uh set up your profile which is again very important definitely you need to do that you need to set up your profile so that somebody who visits your profile kind of has a clue of what you're about what your offer is about what they'll gain from it maybe you know from some of the posts you have and you know uh, a link to maybe a free product you're giving them or you know other things right there's a whole bunch of things we could do a whole episode on how to set up your profile so that's not what this is about but so let's so let's move on right so you need to so uh the other thing that leaders will tell you they need they're gonna say you need to whoops 
you need to start posting let's say daily right I'm gonna say daily here because you basically have to be posting every day I mean you could post once a week you could post two three times a week if you want you could post 10 times a day if you want it's really kind of being about consistency doing it regularly the same schedule all the time right well that's kind of what's important so these things I'm not going to debate whether they are the perfect way to do it or not they're just they're one way to do it and most leaders teach that and this process is is good right the problem is you know where so how do you come up with new ideas for posts right so I mean leaders they'll teach you all sorts of different ways to come up with that right to think about uh, go into groups look at what people are posting that kind of stuff and that's all very good and that does work except you're basically having to do this extra activity to create you to get ideas for your posts what if what if we revert like here well here let's let's finish this thought process here right number five number six they will also tell you now that you've got to go and comment on other other people's whoops people's posts right and re reply to pe other pe people's comments on your posts right so those are basically non-negotiable activities that if you want to build an online brand if you want to build a personal brand you want to do an, you want to use attraction marketing tactics techniques you basically have to do these seven things right you you can't really not do these seven things but what I'm proposing is not doing it this way there's a slight difference to what uh you do so for me uh let me kind of walk you through what I kind of do right so for me I use a tool called active group users that gives me a list of the users to go comment on to go engage on their posts and as you can see right here I've got a list of a bunch of list of names here this list here is like 100 125 people right but I mean I've got 31,000 in this list these are all people that are active on Facebook that have commented in groups or that I've engaged with because I can add other users in there right that I've engaged with and over here you can see whether they're hot leads this column here is hot cold warm right whether they're hot leads or cold leads and over here you can see what their level of interaction with me is I guess whether they're just brand new active they're new I haven't even uh well I only have one post right or whether they're uh I, I've sent them a message I contacted them or they replied to me right there's even if they purchase from me right I mean so that's the thing so this gives me a list to work from right and I basically just go here and I click on these names and I visit the profile and engage on their posts and I track my engagement right so that's so I mean when you look at the list from the leaders right uh I do this this is what I do using the tool right so I do do that I do all these things I know my avatar you know more or less I mean obviously we can always improve that we can always improve our definition of our offer our profile can all be all these things all these things can always be improved over time I'm certainly I certainly can get improvement there too right but that's not the point today we're talking about how do you get ideas for your posts right how do you get content ideas so regardless of how we get content ideas right now I'm talking about the process I follow through which is basically going through this list to comment on other people's posts I just click on their names here takes me to the Facebook profile and I just go and comment other stuff and record that I did this this is what these numbers are here number of visits number of comments number of reactions so that that's kind of what those numbers are it lets me see right here that I visited them yesterday these ones two days ago these one three days ago on this column right there right um and anyways there's a whole bunch of information on here you don't really need to necessarily understand it all just the fact that there's a list of names and I just visit those profiles right so that's kind of what I do I just do that from those visits I get ideas I get ideas from those posts like I'll go into somebody's post right and I'm gonna I'm gonna comment something there and that's gonna give me an idea of a post right so that's kind of how I get my initial ideas right those just 
I'll just actually lots of times I'll take that comment that I posted and I'll just more or less copy it for a post later on now I could in the beginning when I started doing that I was basically just posting that whenever I was there right like imagine I'm going through 20 I do about the right here these numbers here show you 20 28 29 23 <coughs> that's how many people's profiles I visited this 22 right here 28 that's how many people's profile I visited that day so if I go through their you know 20 let's say I do 20 profiles a day and I comment on three of their posts so that's potentially 60 posts that I comment on I'm not going to be able to you know post 60 posts right if I if every single comment I had a good post idea and in, in the comment I made on there I can't like post that that day so what I started doing I started using something called Google keep now Google keep is something that you can also have on your phone I have it on my phone so I mean if I go to my phone I don't know if you'll be able to see it there but where's my camera yeah so I have Google keep right there on my phone right down there whoops right there right here that's Google keep right there I don't know if you can see it says Google keep anyways it's just an app you install I install it on my phone and then when I load up I basically get the list of you can't really see too good eh? anyways I get the list of posts now I can edit this on here or on the computer right there and I can just it'll just show up on both right it's basically a shared document I can use on my phone whenever I'm out and about or on the computer if I want and what I've done is I created a keep document which is this one here social post ideas and just open it and I just scroll down here I just go to you know when I first started right I mean I don't know if I have dates on here but the first few ones I didn't, I didn't post right so that means what I, so what I've been doing right is I've been copying and pasting a comment or you know an edited comment because sometimes I'll say you versus versus I or whatever right in the comments uh, but I'm going to paste them in here right and then if I ever post them I'm going to put a date here now that's it's still a little bit manual but that means that you know today if I'm like oh, I don't really know what I should be posting I can come up here and just take this and use that as a post and just post that on my timeline right that then I then over here I'm going to put a date there I'm going to say January what is it I'm recording this on the 29th so I would just put the date of whenever I posted it so that I know I'm posting uh, later on when I have all these with dates on them then that means I've already posted them but that doesn't mean I can't post them again right I mean I might come back here and say oh this was October I can probably post this again and I'll just put another date underneath it saying I posted it again it doesn't really matter because the post is like long gone from Facebook right so definitely would be a good uh, idea for a post again if it's been a while so that's so that's kind of what I do right I just go I use this you know I click on the name of the person like say for example let's go for some that I haven't visited in a while seven five let's go let's load more I just go down here in this case obviously I wouldn't be like the tool lets me say give me only people that I visited at least six days ago like say for example uh, I certainly wouldn't have to scroll down this list I, I don't have to do that I can just say six days or more right see how over here it's six days I can actually go up here and put inside of this number here I can put six days right there and that'll just show me everybody that's at least six days that I haven't visited in at least six days right I just do this it'll start the list over again because I don't because it's a, a new filter but basically I do that that gives me the list of the people that have visited at least six days ago and then from there I know that I have been have not visited them at least six days ago so I can go on oh by the way you see the hashed out ones those are the ones that I kind of decide I don't need to see uh the list right now doesn't have the hidden it says all oh, so I'm just okay don't show me the hidden I'm going to refilter again so that hides any other ones that I just don't want to bother because that I can't engage on them or maybe they're not my target market or maybe maybe uh they don't they don't post I can't react to their posts maybe they're not public posts right that's possible but anyways that kind of gives me the list there I can load more here it says 11 days ago see these ones oh here's an idea this one here it says no post but I didn't hide it so I can actually just click on her name 
and then I can just hide the contact same with this one lock profile I can't do anything on the lock profile so I'm just going to hide it so that way next time when I load the list it won't show up in my list here there's a few other ones here this one here has no post I'm just going to go ahead and hide it there we go so those are hidden I could reload the page and it would those ones would not show up on the list but the idea here is I would click on somebody's name right like Sam right here I click on his name and I click on his name again that takes me to his profile on Facebook directly and then I can come in here and I can comment on some of his posts right so this was January 19th uh I want to win 20k in cash she's saying and so that kind of sounds like a, but I'm just sure I'll just go ahead and comment and I'm just going to say wow that would be great now obviously this is not an example of a good idea for a post I'm not gonna you know I'm not gonna use this one as an idea but I commented on this post and now I keep going back down here and I can say I've already see I've already engaged on this post so this particular person there was only one new post since the last time I visited them well although this one does is another post but I'm not going to bother with it so I just close the tab and then I just say down here I commented on one post reacted to one post and I just save that so now he's green because I just visited just now everything else that's you know been longer than 24 hours is not colored but I can go with like like Brooke for example she's always posting great content if I go to her page maybe I'll get an idea for a post it just let's just see right this is kind of how it works I just come in here and I'm going to say so she says did you know whoops that's her pin post she says did you know stress can wreak havoc on everything from your hair to your immune system fuel your body right good nutrition fresh air sunshine relaxation all rinse so this is actually a great example for something that might might give me an idea for a post but basically I'm posting a comment here right I'm going to say what she say she says fuel so it's going to have you know, fuel your body right uh, I'm just going to say so true we need to fuel our bodies with the right uh, let's say we need to feed our bodies with the right fuel as well as our minds so now this will be kind of like a comment I posted on here now what I'm going to do here I'm going to take this comment here and I'm just going to copy it I'm going to post it and I'm going to go back to keep here I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm just going to paste that right here and I kind of separate them with three dashes <clears throat> but what I can do in this case and I can say you need whoops don't I can just say something like don't forget don't forget whoops don't forget you need to feed your body your body with the right fuel as well as your mind as your mind and then I can say what are you feeding your mind right so that becomes a engagement post because there's a different kinds of posts right but these are mostly for engagement posts because I also do like I'll do posts you know family posts or my workout posts or things like that but this is really for engagement posts more more than anything because you want to have a few posts potentially once a day where people can react to your posts and comment on your posts and give you you know because if I and and yeah so that's kind of it right there right oh, whoops I've already got that so I mean I just come out here whoops what happened here we went back to the top I just want to make sure yeah so I do a character here okay then I close this so now it's saved with the newest idea I have for a post I can go back here and I can keep down here and then uh, I can just say uh -huh. Uh -huh. nice tongue how do you spell tongue g-u-e there you go I'm just gonna do that and I'm just gonna say two I'll just close this and then I come back right here to the to this here I just go back here say two and two right so that's basically 
that's basically what I do and that's how you can do it too so that means if I go back to our list here instead of doing these right what we do is we do this so we know we need to know our avatar we need to know our friend we need to do our profile but you don't start posting right away what you do is you comment on other people's posts so I guess we could do this put this down here uh, and then over here we say number four we comment number five and number six and then we what we do is we take that so yeah so you basically do this right you just still need to do your offer you but then you start commenting on other people's posts actually maybe what we should do is so use agu to get list of active users right so then comment on other people's posts number five whoops really let's just get that out of there so it's not confusing there so we need this so then what we do is we use agu to comment so active group users is a software I'm going to put the link right here it's basically just go to activegroupusers.com and get a free trial just go to that link but yeah so use agu to get list of active users comment on other people's posts using agu and then start posting start uh well actually yeah so get get content ideas from those comments and use them to use them to post daily right so number that's number six number seven right then of course you want to reply to people's comments on your board that's still all very valid you've got to go you know to your Facebook and you've got to go into notifications right here and then you look through the notifications and you uh, if there's a load yeah you go through these as you can see I got a whole bunch of comments that on comments on mention me comment mention me in the comment all these comments right so you go th to those and comment back on them right so if I comment on my post I'm just going to go here and I'm just going to go here and say can I not love this oh there you go and I'm just going to say thanks and over here and again I'm going to do the same thing here thank you thank you and thanks for sharing I'm just going to like this I'm going to say you're welcome have a great day so now obviously you try to because you know the idea here is you want to be building kind of relationships with people right there's a whole other reason why you do all this part of attraction marketing is about getting people to know like and trust you and one of the best ways for them to for you to do that is through content that's well that's why leaders tell you to create content right because with content people get to know who you are and over time they'll actually like you but if you actually use comments and you actually use active group users to go and comment on people's stuff right it will even grow that even faster where people will see you commenting on their stuff they're going to actually like you because you're you know doing what they want you to do anyways on their content that's just part of part of you know the the whole process and um but yeah so that's kind of that's kind of how you get to never run out of content ideas you already have to be on Facebook you already have to be engaging on other people's posts you already have to be replying to comments on your posts or yeah replying to comments on your post you already have to go find people what if you why don't you use active group users to go find the people for you because that goes and finds people that are active in your targeted group so you tell it whatever groups you want to use and you know just use the software you click on the little icon and then you go to um, and so once you've got it loaded you can put the groups in here that you want to use you just place the group in here and say add it'll add it to the list here now I've got the highest paying plan which is 15 groups you can scrape only two three groups but what, what the tool does is it goes and finds the people in those groups that you chose because if you're in hate weight loss if you're 
tennis uh, you know teaching tennis I mean obviously the groups are going to be different for you than they are for me uh, unless you're into affiliate marketing as well but the, this is mostly affiliate marketing or online marketers or or attraction marketers or people learning about personal branding that's the groups I have because I sell this software which is why I have this list of users right but then you just do this you click on the start here to go and do a scrape which will go and get you the data it'll give you a list of users and then you just do that every day and every day it'll go and find the users that commented in those same groups so new users or repeat users that are commenting and posting that's why you have these numbers here 14 9 and 48 and 51 those are the number of times these people have commented or posted in the groups Facebook posts Facebook comments anyways like I said there's a lot to learn about this but the idea is you get a list you use the list you get ideas from the comments because these are your target market you're engaging on your target market you know people your your avatars more or less so it's even better than any other post because these people are actually your target market so if you're actually going to be commenting on their posts they're most likely going to be posts or comments that make sense to them so that's going to actually be even a better kind of post because it's going to be a post that kind of talks to your target market right and that's why it's such a powerful way to do it and like I said you just use keep or use other mechanism but keep is a really cool tool that is uh you know both on on a browser on your pc or on an app on your phone so you can keep all these uh, social post ideas that you have and just keep adding to it adding to it and then whenever you want to post you just go through your list and just pick something and that's how I do it right and then just this is one example right here I got a stick to your commitment that's actually a post I did yesterday and I already have 18 comments on it right 22 people reacted now if I go back to my post my page or my my profile right I can see other posts I've got other posts that have you know less engagement but these posts that are meant for engagement are going to have more so this one here has 18 uh it was my birthday over the weekend oh yeah so that's going to be a problem because there's going to be a ton of not a problem <laughs> of course I appreciate anybody saying happy birthday here's another one friend of the youth is a mist this one here is 21 comments so it's not you know uh, hundreds of comments but this one has 14 this is a, a personal post right uh, some reels some 43 comments here for a a uh well I said it was my birthday so lots of them and even if you see this another one I just got four comments on this one this one here is another one eight comments so you get engagement on these posts that you post that are basically from that list that I did so yeah so that's how you never run out of ideas get your ideas from comments on posts from your target market get that list of users from active group users and start building your brand on Facebook we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.